your first alert weather. All right, live look in Rexburg right now. We got the cloud deck overhead. We're seeing rain showers. We talked about this here. The slow moving storm system out of the southwest putting in warm air into the valleys, bringing in more rain than snow. And we're getting some rain snow mixes right now as you could just go into the mountains east of the Snake River Plain. That's the pink area on the map. And then we're getting snow back into areas of Teton County, Idaho and Wyoming tonight. More passing snow showers tonight into areas of Soda Springs and Caribou County. But you got rain showers, a soggy commute along I-86 on your way into Twin Falls in the Magic Valley. We got a winter storm warning still with us tonight for areas of Island Park and Clark County. And now we have winter weather advisories for, you'll notice the areas just east of the Snake River Plain and also through southeastern Idaho. This is through tomorrow morning. And this is because we're getting snow tonight and we can carry that snow through tomorrow morning and it could be a bit slippery on that drive, especially through Swan Valley tomorrow into Jackson. Also Highway 30 could be pretty messy through Soda Springs and Georgetown. So if you're gonna be driving that direction tomorrow, uh, just be wary that the road conditions are gonna be difficult in that pink shaded purple area on the map there. As we go, into Island Park, a new avalanche warning to discuss. The Centennial Mountains of Island Park under an avalanche warning. That's the mountains there as you get into Montana. So avalanche warning is uh, going to be with us here for the weekend at least. It might be extended past the weekend with our weather pattern still showing us above average temperatures for this time of year. So here's our storm system that is slowly making its exit. And over the next couple of days, that area of low pressure is going to shift to the east. We'll work in high pressure here for Saturday and Sunday. But then another storm system begins to take shape in the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to get down in here for next week. Vipercast tonight will start you off at 9 o'clock tonight. Some of that rain is going to try to turn over to snow later tonight with the dropping temperatures. However, it's going to be again, we're iffy. We're walking that line between rain and snow tonight in the valley, but we'll definitely see snow, especially as we go into tomorrow morning near the Wyoming state line. We have a chance for snow in Idaho Falls tomorrow and also much of the upper valley. We could even see some snow uh, just kind of kissing the areas of Blackfoot and Pocatello tomorrow, but more towards the east. As we go through the afternoon hours tomorrow, we're still stuck with some cloud cover, but drier air gets in here for Sunday with some areas of freezing fog in the morning. And then for next week, we have building cloud cover, stormy conditions, a slight chance of a storm system on Monday, but more passing snow and rain showers for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we have rain and snow tonight through tomorrow morning. Wind gusts tomorrow, 15 to 25, and areas of fog for Sunday. Highs tomorrow at 32 for Montpelier, 30 around Soda Springs and Lava Hot Springs, 23 in Afton with highs at 27 in Jackson, 32 for Island Park, 30 in Island, uh, 30 for Island Park, 32 for Rexburg, excuse me, I had those flipped, 30 for Dubois, Central Idaho, we got you at 34 for Salmon, 29 in Stanley, 27 in Mackey, and the Snake River Plain will see highs here at 34 tomorrow with 39 in Pocatello and 39 also out towards Aberdeen and American Falls. Here's your eight day. Notice the highs are into the mid 30s for Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be into the mid to upper 30s on Monday as we pull in some cloud cover, slight chance of a shower Monday, but pulling in more rain and snow. Yes, I did say rain and snow for Tuesday. We'll have dropping temperatures through Wednesday. That could put a little bit of snow on the ground because we'll have highs in the low 30s. But uh, don't expect at this point any major snowstorms in the immediate forecast. We'll just have some of these more passing snow and rain showers as we get through next week. Pocatello 39 for the high tomorrow with 42 for Sunday. We're into the mid 40s for Monday and Tuesday as we have dropping temperatures for the Wednesday storm. Blackfoot a high of 38 for tomorrow. Areas of fog on Sunday with highs of 39. We'll be hanging out to the low 40s for Monday and Tuesday. We'll go to Rexburg with a high of 32 tomorrow and Sunday. We're into the mid to upper 30s for Monday and Tuesday with the lower 30s in there for Wednesday. Gusty winds, scattered snow and rain showers to get us through the later half of the work week. And then salmon we will have some areas of fog tomorrow and also again for Sunday. Highs into the mid 30s. We're expecting to see numbers uh, get back up closer to 40 degrees with the arrival of this wet weather as we get closer into Wednesday with dropping temperatures there. Jackson, more snow tonight and tomorrow. In fact, it get pretty snowy out there tomorrow morning in Jackson in far eastern Idaho with a high of 27, lower 30s on Sunday. But again, another storm system on the move with a cold front that's going to arrive Wednesday through Thursday. Guys? All right, Michael, thanks a lot. Unsettled, perfect for this story. 24 mushers and dog teams are in Jackson.